This video is going to give engineering students the fundamental concept of phase shift. What is phase shift? There will be no complex calculation involved in this video. What is phase shift? The general concept is if two identical waveforms are not aligned to each other perfectly, along the S axis, there is a phase shift. In this video presentation, the standard sinusoidal waveform below will be used as reference throughout this video presentation. These sinusoidal waveforms have no phase shift. Okay, first let's look at positive phase shift. This is the ordinary sine functions without phase shift, which I have shown you earlier. And this is a sine function with phase shift. The term plus pi over 4 add to the ordinary sine function is the phase shift factors. The plus sign indicates positive phase shift and the term pi over 4 is the magnitude of the phase shift. Now you can see the waveform of the phase shift sine function. You can also observe that the waveform start from minus pi over 4 and not start from the origin. Ok, now let's put together the ordinary sinusoidal waveform and the phase shift sinusoidal waveform together into one graph. This is just an animation only. It doesn't mean the way how phase shift works. Ok, let's go back to the two overlapping waveforms. You can see that sine function f2 is left shift by pi over 4 radian of 45 degree. We can also say that the phase difference between the two sinusoidal waveforms is pi over 4 radian or 45 degree. We can also say that function f2 has a phase leak of pi over 4 radian or 45 degree. I will explain to you later that what does it mean by phase leak. Ok, let's continue to negative phase shift. By now, you will probably guess that the sign in the shift factor should be negative, right? Yes, indeed it is. And the negative phase shift sinusoidal waveform F2 is the red waveform here. And you can see that the waveform start from pi over 4 radians of 45 degree. It doesn't start from the origin. The sinusoidal waveform F2 is right shift by pi over 4 radians of 45 degree. We can also say that the phase difference between the two sinusoidal waveforms F1 and F2 is pi over 4 radians of 45 degree. We can also say that the sinusoidal waveform F2 have a phase lag of pi over 4 radians of 45 degree. Like phase lag in the positive phase shift, I will explain what is phase lag later in this video. Ok, next I will discuss about phase lag and phase lag. Ok, in order to illustrate phase leak and phase lag, we will need to convert the s axis from radian or degree scale to time scale. Ok, before I go further, I will give you the concept of time on s axis. What does negative time means on s axis? Ok, on the s axis, t equal to 0 is when the reference timer starts. Negative time on the s axis means time before the reference timer starts. For example, t equal to minus 0 0.2 second means 0 0.2 second before the reference timer starts. In this example graph, three runners compete for 100 meter spring. When the empire fires a gunshot, the timer starts, t equal to 0. But runner A took off 0 0.2 second before the gunshot. Runners B took off immediately after the gunshot, and runner C took off 0 0.1 seconds slower. The start time for runner A is thus t equal to minus 0 0.2 seconds, and runner B is t equal to 0 seconds, and runner C is t equal to 0 0.1 seconds. We can say that runner A has a 0 0.2 second leak, and runner C has a 0 0.1 second leak. Ok, let's go back to the sinusoidal graph. We want to change the s axis such that pi over 6 will now become 0 0.1 second on the time scale. Ok, 
how to convert function 1 from function of radian into the function of time. The working procedure will be shown in appendix. Ok, now you can see the formulas of the two graphs in functions of time. Function 1 is the ordinary sinusoidal wave without shift. Function 2 is the positive shift sinusoidal wave. The sinusoidal function F2 is left shift by 0 0.15 second. Function 2 leads function 1 by 0 0.15 second. Function 2 starts 0 0.15 seconds ahead of function 1. That's why we say left shift is phase leak. Ok, next we come to negative shift. Function 2 is now negative shift sine functions of time. Now the sinusoidal function F2 is right shift by 0 0.15 second. Function 2 lacks function 1 by 0 0.15 second. Function 2 starts 0 0.15 second behind function 1. That's why we say that right shift is phase lag. Ok, that is the explanation for phase leak and phase lag. Ok, next I will show you a unique case of phase shift. In this unique case of phase shift, the amount of phase shift is equal to pi. For the phase shift amount of pi, both positive and negative phase shift are the same. Ok, here we add in the sine wave without phase shift together in one graph. In this unique case of phase shift, we say both sinusoidal waveforms are 180 degree out of phase. If we add the two sinusoidal waveforms together, we will get a zero waveform. This principle has been used in many applications like noise cancellations, signal jamming, etc. Ok, let's summarize what we have so far. Ok, first we talk about positive phase shift. Positive phase shift is shift to the left. And we also say that positive phase shift is actually phase leak. Next we talk about negative phase shift. Negative phase shift is shift to the right. And we also say that negative phase shift is phase lag. And in the last case, we talk about a unique phase shift which is 180 degree phase shift. The two waveforms are actually inverse of each other. Ok, that is the end of the phase shift presentation. As I mentioned earlier, the procedure to convert SSAs from radian scale to time scale is at the end of this video. Do not hesitate to email me if you have any question. Until I see you next time, goodbye.